Welcome back to the latest chapter in the Dualtron Victor update and upgrade saga. If you haven't seen my first impressions and my first update video, go check those out first to see what issues I've had with the Victor so far and what upgrades I've made. Today we're doing a tube to tubeless pneumatic tire swap on just the rear wheel to make sure the new tire fits correctly and then I'll take the Victor out for a ride to see how I like the new tubeless tire. Assuming everything goes well with the swap and ride, I will be swapping out the front tire eventually as well. The new tire is the tubeless tire and rim from the Dualtron 3 and can just be purchased on the Mini Motors website. This whole setup comes as one piece and is supposed to just be directly swapped out for the Victor rim and tire. Just a single tire and rim cost me a ridiculous $95, but I will save the complaining about Mini Motor accessory prices for another video. So let's get the old tire and rim off. And now the new tire setup goes right on. Everything seems to have been installed without issues. You can see that the Dualtron 3 tire is skinnier, flatter, and has slicker tires, so we will see if that affects how the scooter feels. All right, first run out with the new tubeless pneumatic tire, pumped up nice and full. Front tire is still tubed pneumatic. Figured I'd just keep running the original tire until I got a flat or until I decided I wanted to upgrade. And I am absolutely ready to rip. So let's absolutely tear it up. It's been so long since I've been able to just like go and rip around at 40 miles an hour. Yeah, the, the tubeless pneumatic tire feels really good so far. No problem so far, good grip. It really doesn't feel any different than running it with the wheel that was on here. Already ripping at 50, baby. Juicy. It's funny, I haven't even had this scooter for very long and I'm already getting accustomed to the higher speeds. I was ripping at 50 before and it didn't even feel, didn't even feel that fast. The other time I went 50, I was scared out of my mind. Now I just want more. Yeah, the scooter feels good so far. I'm having 
having a ton of fun. This is a freaking dope neighborhood. All the houses in here are beautiful. This of course is where I live, obviously. In one of these big houses. You know how it is on the YouTube. Ooh, little bug.
success. The wheel's good. Everything's holding up good. The brakes are about a bajillion degrees. But overall, I'd call that a success. So, good ride. And the Victor's one step closer to being finally the ultimate riding machine. So, I'm very excited about that. Be sure to get subbed for future Dualtron Victor updates and the full review, and I'll see you in the next one.